The problem that we are going to discuss today is a typical circular arrangement problem with blood relations. So it talks about a family of seven members in which there are four females and three males. They are sitting around a circular table, all of them facing the center of the table. Now in a question like this, there are two approaches. One is that you start drawing the structure straight away and keep putting the family and the relations as they come. Another approach is that you complete the family tree first and then go on to draw the structure, the circular structure. So I would take the latter approach in this particular problem and try to show to you how it can be solved very easily and elegantly. So let's proceed. I would want to start with statements like 4, 5 and 6 which are pretty straightforward. If you look at them, they are simple blood relations. So let's start with 4. It says that the father of Q is P. So let's put Q here. That's Q. And this would be P. So I'll write this M here to denote that P is a male. Okay, let's look at 6 now. It says that the mother of P is R. So let's draw R here. Now this is R and since R is the mother of P, she has to be a female. So let's write F here. So R is a female, P is a male, her son and Q is either the daughter or the son of P. Okay, let's look at statement 5 now. It says that P and S are brothers. So let's put S here and let's write M because S is also a male, he is the brother of P. Okay, if you look at statement 2, it mentions the wife of P here. It means that P is married. So let's put it in the structure like this and let's write F. We still don't know the name of this lady. So let's leave it like that. You would have noticed here that I used different notations for a couple and siblings. That's very important. So you should always do this. Okay, let's proceed and look at statement 1 now. It mentions a grandson T. Look here. And if you look at statement 7, you would realize that T is also married since he has a wife. So T and his wife form a couple. Now we have already got 5 members here in the family tree and these two are to be adjusted here. Now if you look at this family tree carefully, you would realize that the only position possible for this couple T and his wife would be at the bottom of this tree, parallel to Q, here. So that's T, who is a male and he is married to a female, whose name we still haven't figured out. We could not have put this couple anywhere else in the structure. Now we can complete this tree very easily. Look at statement 9. It says use the sister-in-law of S. So now it's very obvious that U would be the wife of P. So let's write U here. And the only person left now is V. And V has to be the wife of T. So let's write V here. Okay, now we can see in this structure that there are three males already. P, S and T. So the gender of Q has to be female. So let's write F in front of Q. It shows that Q is a female. So now that's the complete family tree in front of us. Once we have done this, it's very easy to put them in a circular arrangement. Let's proceed. So this is how the structure would look. So it resembles a circular table with 8 chairs. Let's start filling this up. Let's start with a simple statement like 8 which says that P is sitting third to the right of Q. So let's put Q somewhere. So let's put it here. If this is Q, third to the right of Q would be this position. 1, 2, 3. So that's the position of P. So let's write P here. And since Q is a female, let's put F here. And since P is a male, M here. Okay, let's proceed and look at statement 3 now. It says that Q does not have a male as an immediate neighbor. Now that's the position of Q. The immediate neighbors of Q would be these two positions. 
now since q does not have a male as an immediate neighbor these two positions would also be occupied by females so let's write f here here and in this position it shows that all these three positions are occupied by females now if we look at statement 1 it says that one of the females is sitting between her son and her grandson so there is at least one female in the structure who has two males as her neighbors now it cannot be any of the three females who are already there on the structure that's obvious so she has to occupy some other position now the position cannot be this 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 one this one or this one and this position of p is already occupied so there is just one position where this female can be adjusted and it is this position so let's put f here and we already know who this female is he has to be the grandmother r so let's write r this is it okay now since statement 1 tells us that r has her son on one side and the grandson t on the other side let's put t here so that becomes the other neighbor of r okay so we can see that r is surrounded by her son and her grandson the son is p and the grandson is t okay it looks quite simple now look at statement 7 it says that the wife of t is sitting next to him so it's obvious now that this other female sitting next to t this one has to be the wife of t who we already know is v so let's write v here so that's the wife of t okay if you look at this structure now we can see four females in the structure already so this vacant position here has to be occupied by a male and that male has to be s the third male left so let's write s here and this becomes m okay now this last person is left here who has to be u the only person whose name is not yet there on the structure so let's put u here and with this we have completed the structure